Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We do have a massive update with Fanny Willis that you don't want to miss. We also have a big update with Donald J. Trump and Joe Biden. So we got a lot to cover. Please thumbs it up. Welcome to my show. I'm so happy to see you all. Uh, and before we jump in, we're going to pray and read from the Bible because God comes first. Amen. Comment amen if you believe that God comes first. I want to see how many of you out there are not afraid to admit it, that God comes first in our life. Isn't that so important? Okay, here we go. This comes from the book of Ephesians. Let's listen to the word of God together. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Amen? Amen. Comment amen. That's Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Okay. Fanny Willis has officially responded to Jim Jordan's investigation letter uh, undergoing the... Georgia Trump prosecution. So we have a major update with that. Donald J. Trump. We have some major updates with him. And we even have some updates with Joe Biden. First, I want to ask you guys, join my email list below. I created an email list for all my supporters who want to keep in touch with me. And I will be launching my Christian clothing store on October First, so if you want to stay up to date with that, just enter your email with the link below. And we actually do, we actually have two new designs to everybody who's watching. So we will be uh, releasing all the clothing and it's just going to be a way to help support the channel. All the proceeds go to help support the show. So this is going to be one of the designs as well. This one just says, oh, let's try to focus in on that one if we can. This one just says, Praise God three times. I really like that one. It's pretty simple. I kind of designed that one myself. And then this one is a Bible verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we're going to put these on hoodies as well and uh, hats. And then this was another one, God Comes First. So head to, the, head to my website, godcomesfirst.com to enter your email link below. There is a major... Um, there was a major earthquake in uh, Morocco, I believe. Hundreds dead after earthquake strikes Marrakech, Morocco. Hundreds of people have been killed after a powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck Morocco Friday night, according to State TV, September 8th. Rescue teams are reportedly struggling to reach the most affected areas. The epicenter was in the high Atlas Mountains. Uh, a city of some uh, at the southwest of Marrakech. It's a tourist destination, a popular tourist destination in Morocco. The quake was the strongest to hit that part of the North African nation in more than 120 years. I don't know about you guys, but there's been a lot of cat catastrophes lately, more than I've ever remembered. So keep this in mind, the Maui, it all started with what happened with Maui. That was the deadliest wildfire our country has seen in over 100 years. And Joe Biden went down there and said, Oh, well, I almost lost my Corvette in a kitchen fire 15 years ago. 
what was it because it was the heating ducts the air conditioning ducts and eh, whatever uh, <laughs> all kidding aside it's like that was bizarre great way to be represent <laughs> the great way to be a leader Joe good job there hats off to you brother you wonder why 69% of the of the Democratic Party thinks Joe Biden is too old to run because he goes down there and makes a fool of himself and it shows just how old he is and just dumb so tone deaf and it's like this is our president Jeez, Louise there's a reason why people were chanting go home Joe um, and then next there was a hurricane in California Southern California going up to Mexico somebody died there too um, there's another hurricane in uh, Florida that happened and now Morocco and the whole uh, I wasn't making videos during this time but if you guys remember the submarine thing I don't know about you but there's so many weird it was Ocean Gate thing right isn't there doesn't there seem to be a lot more catastrophes lately am I missing any um, now Fannie Willis, uh, Fannie Willis accuses Jordan of illegal intrusion into Georgia Trump prosecution in scathing letter. So Fannie Willis has responded. Fulton County District Attorney, uh, Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fannie Willis penned a scathing letter to House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan after he asked her to turn over all the documents related to her prosecution of former President Trump. So this is directly involving Trump, my friends. Jim Jordan sent a letter to Fannie Willis asking her to turn over all the documents related to her prosecution of Trump and the 18 others. The nine page letter that Fannie Willis wrote accuses Jordan of offending constitutional principles with your attempt to interfere and with an obstruction this off of this office's prosecution suggests that he buys a book on racketeering prosecution at the price offered for non-attorneys and casts a response as voluntarily, voluntary as settled constitutional law clearly permits me, permits me to ignore your unjustified and illegal intrusion. Um, so she said this, your attempt to invoke congressional authority to intrude upon and interfere with an active criminal case in Georgia is flagrantly at odds with the Constitution. So, when Jim Jordan initially wrote his letter to Fannie Willis, I thought that Fannie Willis was going to agree. But Fannie Willis, my friends, she's a powerhouse. I, I hate to admit it, but she is the definition of a powerhouse. Think about it. She's the only one who was able to get Trump to do a mugshot. The only one to get Sidney Powell, Rudy Giuliani. I mean, these are like people who were considered top legal experts. Now they're turning themselves in to the Fulton County Jail and getting their getting booked and getting their mugshot. I mean, Fannie Willis, I hate to admit it, but she has power over these people. It's kind of insane. Johnny Depp was awarded $10 million in damages um, and $5 million in punitive damages while Amber Heard was awarded $2 million. Bucks. That's interesting. Depp also signed a three-year deal with cologne company Dior upwards of $20 million. That's in the news today as well. Let me know your thoughts there. Trump picks up another big name endorsement over Republican challengers. Listen to this. Trump joins South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem at a sold out rally in Rapid City on Friday. I don't know if you guys watched that. I actually didn't because I was pretty busy today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting super tan. I've been out in the sun a lot. Today I've been out, I went to the beach. Uh, I was out in the beach for like four hours. <laughs> oh, maybe longer, I'm sorry. So I didn't watch the rally, but listen to this. Kirstie Noem says, I will do everything I can to help him win and save this country. Re Republican South D D Dakota Governor Kirstie Noem says that Trump has her full and complete endorsement for President Trump for the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, she's introducing Trump, Donald J. Trump. I love Kirstie Noem. I, ha I really do. I honestly really like Kirstie Noem. I think she's awesome. And 
I don't know, I just, something about her just really rubs me the right way. And I just, I just really like her. Now, Joe Biden has a huge unpopularity, which heading into 2024, as long as Trump is eligible to be on the ballot, we'll see because the Supreme Court, we've seen that with the 14th Amendment, that's Trump's big, um, or I guess the Democrats' big chance of not getting Trump on the ballot. If Trump is able to be on the ballot, it's looking really good for him because like I said before, 69% of Democrats believe Joe Biden's too old to run and 77% of Americans think too, Biden's too old to run. Now, the only scary thing is that if Biden does end up winning with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden does die, Kamala Harris could become the president of the United States of America, which I don't know about you, but that scares me. And they already voted them in once before um, uh, Democrats. And so they were totally fine with, you know, even Kamala Harris said it herself. Any vice president who swears that oath is basically preparing to become president at, at any given moment. So she says she's ready. She seems very confidently ready, almost as if she's like expecting to have to step up to the plate. So we'll see what happens there, but let me know your thoughts on all of this one. And again, join my email list down below. Go to godcomesfirst.com. That's first with the one. I'll also have a link, link below as well to help support the show. If you, um, the, all the um, designs and clothing, I'm gonna have candles, hats, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, clothing for, for, for women as well as men. So there will be a female section with actual female clothing, not just like a t-shirt, like, but actual woman fitted clothes. So keep an eye out for that. I also do want to make sweatpants and stuff too. Just cool stuff. So, all right, this comes from Psalms 37, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. And We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.